All right, let's go to the Truth Seeker's Path. And hopefully, find find her. Ah. Did Shingi and Jinshi know each other? Jinshi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point, including Lady Xing Yi. She grew up with immense responsibilities, forced to suppress her true nature from a young age. Thinking back, Jin Shi was only a teenage girl when she became the Magistrate. She has been burdened with unimaginable weight that most cannot fathom. Yeah, I can't say it does. It... <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I fly like an eagle. Where, where, which was fun. <laughs> Uh. All right. I assume this is the truth seeker's past Shin you mentioned. Yes. This should be another chrono sorter. It should work in similar ways with the one we saw near the luminous shore. The entrance is built on that cliff and it's been blocked. We will need to break the three photon vaults with ranged attacks first. Hmm. Nothing. I was wondering, how did the Court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Unless the Sentinel willingly taught them. But why? Huh. We need to focus on items related to the Court of Savante in Truth Seekers Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. Alright, so. Time to break my way in. So, should I just really just keep Chisha in? I'll save the day. Because then I don't have to keep switching around. And basically, I only really use two in battle anyway. So, one of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chrono Sorter. Yeah, just move it. So I got break all one of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the chrono sorter. Yeah, boy, it's not. How anyway? Because you can't stop it within the within it, can you? Mm, 
it's evil out all you break one and then do it no it's not gonna work I don't know how that's going to work. This isn't working. If, if there was a way to stop it within... In between, yeah, it, you could do it, but... It only has it the points. Which... Can suck. I don't I don't understand how this how this is done. Good. Did you see the tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Perhaps we can create an opening in this disc with an explosion. Oh! So I was kind of going a little bit too wrong. Time to make some explosions. <laughs> All right. Uh, wait. Oh, so now it now I understand how how it's gonna do it. But wait, isn't I just gonna reverse it? Worked. The opening fits right onto the middle photon vault. Rover, now we can hit the three photon vaults simultaneously. Yeah, but shouldn't the time thing be reverting it back to not being not being destroyed? So it kinda of doesn't make a little bit that much sense. The blockade has been lifted. Let's go in. And An I have just discovery. So it's kind of I don't, I don't know. Said it just doesn't make sense. Really?
because it reverses time. Why are there tacit discords here? And all that. No. These monsters, they don't look like the usual tacit discords. These also look like the works of the Court of Savante. Did they create these simulated holograms to protect this place? Uh, <laughs> oh well, we've got some more fine to do. <laughs> Get him down with the curtain. <laughs> right, go. Nowhere to hide. Destroy him. Destroy him now. Evils be gone. <laughs> Go! Full power! Mm. Alright. Your turn now. Check me. And he did. Stop that. Right now. Ah. More friend shovel. Now, watch more die. That thing up ahead, is it another mechanism? It seems to have unlocked after we got rid of those holograms. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. glowing patterns on that gate it's a flare crest and there's two more yes the flare crests have a complex structure but they can be deciphered with patience see how each star represents a flare stone that mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them yes we still need the other two flare stones to open it. Wait. The blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. Oh. She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. Yeah, not good. We are running out of time. Definitely not good. All right, let's go. <laughs> ah. Decades have passed, but those researchers' presence still lingers in this place. Yeah, not reading it. The Sentinel situation is worse than we thought. It had already sustained severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, it no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. Hmm. So, the Sentinel protected Hongzhen with its power. But it couldn't return things back to normal? It would seem so. According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time. And if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, engulfing all of Jinzhou. So the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. And it caused more pain than it's worth. There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In the end, 
The Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Kronos Order, a man-made resonance object. No. A Kronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. We are getting closer and closer to the truth. Two more Flare Stones left. <coughs> Everything aside, first we must find Jinshi. Yeah. Well, first things first, we've got to, as you said, get, the, get these stones. All right. Hi. She lasts evermore. How's it going? Enjoy the group hug. No hesitation. <laughs> now go. Destroy it. You will obey. And dead. Well, my first echoes. Finally, I found some. Oh, look at little cubes. Cubies. Banish all vice. Haha. <laughs> so much destruction. And they're all and they're a pain. Oh, I want to get a cube. A well-deserved reward. Wait, was that an elite version of it already? Even though, yes, I am up to the version of getting elites, and I think with what I also remember saying, if you're up to the elite range, everything you're going to get is an elite. Nothing now is going to be anything less. Right. So, okay, going off by lights. Not surprising. I got in the lead, but <sighs> another Chronos order. The second flare stone should be behind this gate. Let's restore the collapsed gate with this Chronos order. You, you still would like to go through all the original ones, getting all four difficulties in, right? Hmm. Think I could <laughs> do anything with this right now? Turned you into a clangbang. Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. Hmm. Clangbang! The mighty clangbang! Clang bang. Uh. Mm. I'm a Going in a different direction. 
Whee! <laughs> Another Chronos order. Let's give it a try. Everyone safe. And now I'm back to normal. Give me a bridge. The stone slates have formed a path. Now we can bring the Tacitite Fulminate across the water. Yeah, because... And now we... Come on, now you that. That's so not fair. <sighs> All right, let's do it again. This time, it will work. There we go. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. And I've got a little friend to play with. First. Little Ice Fang. <clears throat> Alright, go! No! Connection, don't you dare! Honestly. No. <sighs> okay, reverse. Yeah, so now I do that. And I gotta destroy all these. There's one. There's there two. is still another photon vault to break. We can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. Yeah, I already know where I'm going for that. Done. <laughs> Take a little, little dip. <laughs> All right. Number two. One last flare stone to go. There's a carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on the floor beneath us. We should be able to find Jinshi soon. Yeah, I'm grabbing this first. This time. Something above the carrier lift seems stuck. So we can only go down. Okay, so. More stuff. Is that so? So this file confirms that the Chronos Orders are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. And this also answers my previous question. The Chronos Orders rewind time through resonating with the Sentinel. No, it was nowhere near enough. 
The Chronosorters shut down once they are removed from the Sentinel's range, or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful, the Second Resonance Awakening Hypothesis, which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a Second Resonance Awakening. Yes, that fight has to happen to trigger a Second Resonance Awakening for Jinshi, so she may exert even stronger resonance abilities, ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Countless Chronos Orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies, but they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. One Chronos Order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. Well, they got close. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Chronos Orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. So, overwork, <laughs> right? Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. So you gotta push your skills to the, your abilities to the limit, go beyond that to get a second awakening. And everyone's saying not to overclock. <laughs> no, it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. The Chronos Orders required manual control, while the Sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Chronos Order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel and the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Chronos Order, thanks to that order. Rover, do you have an idea? Can I just say it? <laughs> Yay, hit a bell! And, yeah, nothing else. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Jinchi. Wait, she's here? Yep, she's here. We caught up. <laughs> you. Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt her. I... <coughs> but... Cheng Li, you're... You're dying, <laughs> right? I gave my word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. And let's not forget, without me playing the Wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have her here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need her help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. But... we already owe Rover a lot. Yeah, and? Hey. 
Thank you, Rover. Thank you. Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed Resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Chenshi. Do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. Yeah, you really shouldn't have. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. Oh. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Uh. Again, is that not what you said, or was it still carried on? Beyond that. But then again, it's more than, it's more than three lines that shown. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever, or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those Chronos Orders, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. Yeah, but she doesn't actually have any other choice, does she? I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? Oh? I don't remember ever teaching you that. <laughs> we all die eventually. 
But we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Chang Li. I... Made up my mind. <laughs> Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. <laughs> You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our Sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. She's also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. So that does confirm that I'm a time traveler. I was just guessing before, but this confirms it. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. Yeah. Thank you, my teacher. Jingxi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. No, I don't think that. This is, yeah, how would I be able to beat him so easy? Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xing Yi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. Okay, can, can we go into battle and can I have this team? Hmm. Well, it, it would be good. <sighs> then we technically get to try out everyone before anything else. Look, our last target on those floating floor tiles. We need a way to restore them. Hmm. So, yeah, gotta do that, so. One, two, and three. It's not working. We may need to follow a specific order. Oh. Okay. It's not working. We may need to follow a specific order. Mm. I'm, I'm just, I'm just guessing. It's not working. We may need to follow a specific order. Okay, would this be the last thing I can try? It's not working. We may need to follow yeah. a specific order. Is there any hints around here? To anything?
Oh, that did it. It worked. So basically, the of Savante set many traps here. They must have worked hard to protect me on Long Chamber. Process of elimination. <sighs> ah, wait. I, I see that. See that chest. Uh, no. Don't don't be like that. And what do we have here? I get this. You can't hide from me. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, fine. So we came from that way. What's up here first? Even though really I should just keep going with The Sentinel never tried to interfere with natural death before. Why did it make an exception? Can anything interfere with natural death? Mm. Ah. All right, fine. Let's just go back and activate this. Wait. Oh, so if I didn't get it, it would flip underneath. That's actually kind of sneaky. A little bit. Because it... Oh. Oh. Uh. It's a trap. Watch out. Oh, I gotta fight this. Yeah. Oh, and we're actually getting to use her. Little test. Oh, that when that's so that big hard. giant. That's that giant sword thing. Onwards. Onwards. <laughs> Get him. Go. <laughs> in flames. What the? Okay, that kind of looks a little. I don't know. Little OP. Don't you? Don't you think? Ah. Okay, so <laughs> get him. Sever. Oh, from defense to offense. Strike is one. Go. <laughs> Keep it up. We vanquish. Yeah, we will vanquish. Flames. Ah, ah, ah. Leave me alone. Ah. No. Beckon the divine flames. <laughs> Deadly. My blade yearns. Okay, now I can go. Yeah, because it's it's this tile that has it, but as I said, underneath. Yeah. 
And there's the third one. I'm done with all three flare stones. Good. Let's head back to the entrance. We should be able to access the cipher key now. Yeah, so I got that a little bit early. But, eh, who cares? Okay, uh... Moving up. And further. And we're here. Ah, chest. Remnants of the past. Give me. Okay, uh. Hmm. All right. Go. Woohoo! Boogie sliding! Sliding games! Aww. So I don't think there's actually anything until we've done this. Ah, fine. Have it your way. Cypher key. Uh. Rover, take good care of the cipher key. <laughs> I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. Oh, you don't come in with us. Please don't forget, I am your wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinji. Yeah, but you can still stick around. From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. You're not intervening, you're not interfering, you're helping. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us non-stop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. Oh, is that why you're staying behind? Yes. They've been constantly watching you. Interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. Well, yeah, they do want me to join them. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself, I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Uh. Oh, speak of the devils. <laughs> Didn't they add an S in there? Speak of the devil, not speak of the devils. Didn't they? Yeah, whatever. Oh. <laughs> how rude. This is not how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. <laughs> okay, bye. <gasps> I so wanted to be in that fight. Seriously, just look at her! She kicks ass! Hmm. Hmm. 
All right. Those artificers are nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Chen Li has her plans. I don't believe we will run into more ambushes on the way. Yeah, and I definitely want her. I definitely want to use her on my team. So... Yeah. Right. Let's, let's go grab this first. Hmm. Okay, can I solve this? I know I need... Yeah. I go here. Haha. <laughs> okay, so that's interesting. Yeah. I know how those work now. Remnants of the past. Haha. <laughs> Fun. You just gotta follow the shapes and have it reproduce it as it goes around in the circle. Hmm. Had something else to fight. Eh, you know what? Oh, wait, wait. That's. Okay, that's level 74. Oh, and it's basically this thing. Which I kind of should already, should already got. Shadow descends. But. Banish all vice. Eh. Embrace the oneness. Go. Oh, bring it on. Yeah, I know. I know. I really shouldn't. Firecracker, go! Huh. Right, and huh. Huh. ah, what? No hesitation. Dead. <laughs> An unexpected discovery. Eh, good. <sighs> All right, fine. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave because. Wait. Hey, if I, if I'm over here, well, am I actually standing on a beacon? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. I was too high up. I missed that one. Yeah, screw it. Alright, let's just go. I'll be going back here for everything else later. Oh, bring it on! <laughs> go! Go again. No! Stop that! Now we do this. And smack. Hey, I got one! Wait. That, that, that... That was a purple! Not an elite unit! Not an elite! I thought they said that it was going to do a lot. If you're up to the level of elite, you get nothing but elites. That was purple. Eh. Oh well. It's not like I'm complaining because then there's... Cherish every game. Well, plot stuff to use. When you can... Combine in others. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's... You will obey. It's the pigs. They do not like the wolf. Well, they never do anyway. 
banish all vice. Now go. Universe in my psyche. Die, wolf. Bring the pigs in for a group hug. Mine. See, that one's an elite. And that's an elite pig. Yes, I know I could just easily just get there so quick by teleporting right next to it, but <clears throat> I, want, I want to walk. Hmm. Wait, so with something like that is near, when you switch to a, a gun user, they automatically go for, for that? Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Up and over. Up some more. Oh. <sighs> Going down. It's Madam Magistrate. She's back. I must go tell Lady Xin Yi. Hey, I'm following too. All right. I'm back. The Mianlun chamber is open now. You can proceed inside. Before you go, there's something important I need to tell you. I am working with the Fraxidus. <laughs> right? Oh, stupid. Chang Li was right. They use the Court of Cervantes' research to trap our sentinel in its resting chamber. They use the Chronosorters. Our captured artificer revealed that the Fraxidus sent a death squad to invade Mount Firmament. They had a twofold plan. First, to place the chrono sorter in the Mianlun chamber while it was still operational. And second, to lure the sentinel back to Mount Firmament. Although their death squad was no match for the sentinel, by forcing its hand, the powerful resonance ability of the sentinel would clash with the energy of the chrono sorter. This would ultimately cause harm to itself. What if the Fraxidus modified those chrono sorters? A whole bunch of them pushed to their limits, all working together to deliver one massive blow. So they're working there, overloading them. But not even that was enough to take down the Sentinel. After the first hit, they set up modified flare crests in the Mianlun chamber to form a special force field along with those chrono sorters. It prevented the sentinel from replenishing energy and eventually restricted its movement and perception. So, we must free the sentinel from that force field first. It would be a task more complicated than it sounds. The people of Hongzhen have lived with the Sentinel for generations. We can usually tell if it's in good shape or not. But now, 
The Fraxidus want to capture the Sentinel. They won't just stop at Mount Firmament. Madam Magistrate, I'm sure you didn't come here just for the Sentinel. Please tell us what you know, Madam Magistrate. Yes. I will tell you everything. Okay, story time. So the Sentinel is actually injured. And it's been getting worse. The Fraxidus attacked while it hasn't healed yet. Their plans are devious as always. Madam Magistrate, you've already laid out this plan so far. It's always a challenge to decipher the Sentinel's intentions. But there were many theories about it in City Hall at the time. I couldn't fathom why it went through such great lengths to retrieve you from Mount Firmament and raise you within our walls. But now that I reflect on it, perhaps the Sentinel saw in you the potential to one day restore the temporal program and ensure the survival of Jinjo's inhabitants. So he knew that she would surpass him. I just never thought you'd be willing to follow through with that prophecy. It was here on this very mountain that I first encountered the Sentinel. Back then I was too young to remember anything. Even the image of Mount Firmament has slipped from my mind. But this time, as soon as I stood at the base of Mount Firmament, I felt a wave of recognition wash over me. Memories long buried resurfaced with sudden clarity. Lady Xingyi, I was born with my life, my everything connected to our Sentinel. But my duty as its appointed resonator is not the only reason for my decision. I'm following the heart of my younger self before I became Jinshi. The girl who used to laugh with pure joy as she felt the snow from Mount Firmament on her face. I'm a seed born on Mount Firmament, carried by the wind to every corner of Jinjo. But now, I've returned to my place of origin. It's time for me to take root and grow into something greater. No matter what happens, or what choices you make, please remember, the people of Hongzhen will always have your back. Mount Firmament has been stagnant for eternity. Perhaps a sudden crack of lightning is what we need to break through the fog of uncertainty that has lingered over us for far too long. Once you pass through Hongzhen, keep your eyes open for a cave on the northern cliff. That will lead you to a shortcut towards Mianlun Chamber. The place is directly under Mount Firmament's iconic loom-shaped cliff. I wish you two the best of luck. Thank you. Yeah, you say two, but there's still gonna be more than that. Still gonna have them free. Right, let's go. I've got a sentinel to save. And Dan kind of beat it up, right? Just so Jinshi can get stronger and save everybody here. Jinshi, so far, everything we know about the Sentinel is still just speculation. 
You were right. But my weakening resonance ability and my connection to the Sentinel leave me no choice but to explore these theories. Whether it's fact or fiction, truth or a lie, I have to confront the Sentinel and see for myself. Yeah. Yeah, I know I could have probably just carried on running, but I, d I wanted to make sure I didn't actually miss anything. And like I have done before. Which I kind of hate. Kind of hate missing stuff. Oh, I basically gotta take everything slowly. So I can get everything. And. Again, it's probably up there again. Alright. The Mian Loom Chamber should be deep in the cave. Let's go. So basically, he comes in flying through this hole. Cherish every gain. All right. Ah, die! Get out of my way! I have important stuff to do, and you're not one of them. But I can still have a little experience. Fine, I'll just do that. Get rid of you that way. Happy? And there. Wait. Stay alert. Really? You wasn't there with everybody else. You lived. Bad dude. There we go. Remnants of the past. Hmm. Nothing else. Oh, there's another one. Oh, so was that thing just so you could actually get up no, with the of these guys. Oh, basically go over them. Embrace the oneness. Yeah, either way. I put them in for a group hug. <laughs> uh, everyone loves a group hug. Right. Why can't you just come down with everybody else? You will obey. Why obey? I'm gonna kill him. I will murder. An unexpected discovery. Right. Yeah. Okay. I have some. All right, and ah! Oh, I think I get him. Evils be gone. Go! Now, spin! <laughs> Go! Yeah. Down with now the die! Curtain. I said die! Die when I tell you to die. Enduring the fight. Stupid all fights. big guy. Punch it. Punch it good. Universe in my psyche. He managed to survive that. Serenity. Right now he's gone. Now it's your turn. Be gone. Ha. 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 
you will obey. And die. <sighs> oh. Cherish every game. I kind of almost missed that. Don't want to miss any chests. See, she always does. I don't have to do anything. <gasps> this must be the Mian Long Chamber. We should now help the Sentinel break free from the Flare Crest's binds. Yeah, where was it? Chronos orders nearby may have frozen this body of water and time. Or it could have been caused by the temporal disruptions here. Either way, we can use it to our advantage. We can walk over the water now. <laughs> so we get to be Jesus. <laughs> We are too far away to see what's going on inside. Let's go. I still need more information to determine what we should do next. All right. Let's go. Ah. Find stuff like this, I'm going to do it. And then I don't have to come back for much. Well, I've already missed a few anyway. Still have to come back. Here's a, here's a pain. Yeah, you gain that so I can get my shit. A contented mind is a perpetual feast. Okay, now I got it as an elite unit. Okay, so there's... Mm... I can feel the Sentinel's presence inside. But it's not responding. Hmm. Right, there he is. It doesn't look pleased to see me. The flare crest. The sentinel is telling us we need to find the three flare stones corresponding to the flare crest. Then we will be able to lift the confinement set by the Fraxidus. But I'm not seeing any flare stones. Or any kind of entrance to another chamber. There seems to be something underwater. Let's start with the Chronos Order here. And then let's go take a swim or we're gonna drain the water. The water level has dropped. It's the flare stone. On that rock. Let's go retrieve it. Uh, so it's basically in levels. So one on this level, and then the other two on the last, the last on the bottom floor. Two more to go. Let's look for them nearby. Yeah, it's, it's telling me to do that.
All right, so. Oh, and there's a monster. <laughs> so yeah, time stopped for it, and it. That's why it's still alive. Ah, come on, get up there. Ah, come on, stop that. There's one. There's two. Then we go release this. The flare stone is right here. But we have to open this photon barrier first. This barrier will break down once the corresponding photon vaults are destroyed. One of the photon vaults is in there. All right. Hmm. Okay, so still need another one, which is down here. Uh, right, yeah, it's in we there. We need to find a way to destroy the spikes with the corroder's help. Same as last time, let's locate the photon vault first. Now go, group hug! <laughs> I just like doing group hugs. They seem, they seem fun. Just a Endurance little. Alright, so this way. Ah. Right there. Evils be gone. Right, then go. Now go kill everybody! Show them no mercy! Shadow descends. Ah. Hey, big guy. Ow! You will obey. Down, boy! Hey, come on, let, let, me, let, me, let me go! Banish all vice. Alright, just do it that way. <laughs> I can't get out, so I switch, and then it just brings me out. <laughs> Universe in my psyche. Group hug! Tranquility! Go! Ow, ow, ow. You no, know, that sucked, right? None shall whisper. Shadow, follow. Go! Kill him! Destroy him! Do it now! Be gone. Go. There we go. Wait, over here. Once tacit discords terrorized the land, the region of Jinjo was under siege. A mother and her newborn child were hiding in ruins, trying to avoid the deadly creatures. They weren't safe for long, as the tacit discord found them. The mother sacrificed herself to protect her child. But with her gone, it was difficult for the newborn to survive. In a couple of minutes, its loud cries gradually died out. Fortunately, 
The newborn's cries echoed through the forest with a unique resonance that reached the ears of the mighty sentinel. Ooh. With a burst of energy, our sentinel dispelled the surrounding evils. But sadly, it was too late. That night, Mount Firmament shook with the roars of a lung, and dark clouds gathered. The sentinel returned with a dead infant in its embrace. As if by magic, somber clouds parted, and shooting stars lit up the sky. With Mount Firmament's unique flow of time, the sentinel brought the deceased infant back to life. The resurrected infant became known as, as the, the sentinel's sentinel. appointed resonator and went on to become the magistrate of Jinjo. Which is you. So basically you died once. <sighs> and Jue brought you back. Yes. It's me. I've lived in Jinjo my whole life and never ventured into Hongjen. Yet even I know of the legend. To me, Jue is more than just our sentinel or a revered divine being. It raised me and saved me from certain death. I've been thinking about it on our way here. If the Sentinel predicted our fight, why would it even bother saving me in the first place? So you can inherit his power. Now I understand why. Because I am the Sentinel's resonator. I may not have any extraordinary abilities, but I do possess the temporal program that it accidentally lost. If Jinju ever faces a similar time crisis, I... I might be the only one who can set things right. In our Sentinel's prediction, the battle between us is supposed to happen in the distant future. He had been waiting for an opportunity, a right moment to tell me the truth. That's why it didn't explain. Now may not be the opportunity the Sentinel has been waiting for, but my body cannot hold up much longer. I have to go and face it while I still can, to learn about the truth or complete our destined battle. Give up. My duty. I never thought about it. To be honest, I did doubt myself many times. It was the endless kindness of you, Chung Li, Xing Yi, and everyone in Jinzhou that gave me the courage to push on. Even Jue's decision to bring me back to life. Whether out of pity or not, I am truly grateful. The thought of it warms my heart every time. Jinjo holds everything that's dear to me. Even without the title of Magistrate, I could never leave Jinjo behind. I'm okay. The pain I'm feeling is nothing compared to those trapped in the temporal disruptions. I must find the Sentinel as soon as possible. We draw from the same source of power. Saving it means saving myself. If there is truly no other option in the end, then I will have to fight it. I refuse to back down. 
I will fight to protect the Sentinel and to defend Jinjo. One life may be lost, but many will be saved. If it means keeping everyone safe, then I have no regrets giving my own life. But let me make one thing clear. I am not planning on dying yet. I am here to fight for a chance at survival, no matter how slim that chance may be. And plus, you've died once. We're not in a situation where death is our only option, are we? Thank you for placing your trust in me. Come to think of it, many good things have happened to me since you arrived in Jinjo. Thank you, Rover. I didn't know what just replied to My teacher Chung Li told me it's up to both of us to solve the crisis at Mount Firmament. As I know you have a special connection with our Sentinel, I need your support in this decision. Don't worry. I'm prepared. This isn't about succumbing to destiny. It's about embracing it fully. I am grateful to have you by my side through it all. No, oh, my happy face. <sighs> all right. There's a little bit. Uh, that one. Yeah. Uh, anything else I can grab before I leave? Ah, damn it. I'll take that. Explode that. So I need, so I need that now. Wait, uh. Hmm. How do I go about doing this? Wait. Okay, now, now, now it's fine. Then I need to doubt up there, but yeah. Wait. Yeah. And uh, now I can get to that one. I will do it. Okay, go. Go, go, go. One last flare stone to go. Hey, uh. Okay, why do I need this? Am I gonna explode over here? Okay, fine. You 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 wanna play? I can play. And I kind of messed that up. A little bit. Enduring the fight. You will obey. On your knees! <laughs> Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Banish all vice. Hey, you went the wrong way.
Okay, and shoot. Did you not... catch up? The remaining photon ball is hidden behind the fissured ledge. Fissured ledge. If only there was a tacitite fulminate. Let's look around. Yeah, already found it. Okay, that opens that. And and that. Oh. Okay, I got it. <sighs> More stuff. Uh, yeah, and go that way. Okay, uh. Not an easy way to get down. Ah, this way. That. Now let's go grab this. Uh, almost done, I hope. And then it kind of also depends on what the fight with Jubei is going to be. How big. And all that. Good. Now we can get that flare stone. Uh, yeah, we're gonna fight that thing first. Wait, wrong way. It was being guarded. Ha! Embrace now. the oneness. Go! Haha! <laughs> Get him! Oh wait, uh Yeah don't don't do that. That that that's kinda of terrifying. Hey, hey, can you stay popped? Shadow follows. Okay, get him. Down with the curtain. Come on, take him out. Evil's be Nice and easy. Nice and quick. Ow. Bad boy! Down! Up and over. <laughs> and now you die! <laughs> Shadow descends. Ooh. All set. There. The sentinel should be able to break free now. We're done. Yes. I believe so. Let's head back to the sentinel's place. And now it's time to fight it. Well, we're we gonna fight here. <sighs> or are we gonna move outside, like on the mountains? Mark let up. Whoa, oh, whoa, flying. Oh, floating. Hmm. 
didn't she? It has been quite some time. And greetings, Lady Arbiter. Or should one address you as Grover now? <laughs> Arbiter? Yeah. One cannot discern the cause of your arrival. Yet its significance heralds Jinjo's fateful juncture. Shall a child who has lost their memories take up arms and fight for their fate? Or shall they retreat to their cradle and slumber? The seed of the future shall be sown in this very moment. Yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> Once the situation settles, an explanation shall be provided. For now, one must implore you to simply engage, decide, and observe. Jinji, your journey has been an arduous one. Aside from aiding one in this predicament, surely there are other inquiries you wish to make. I cannot bring myself to ask for more. All I seek is the truth. Mount Firmament is in grave danger. Regarding the temporal mandate and your injuries, please do not keep the truth from me any longer. One understands your concerns. The timing may not be optimal for this disclosure. Yet, in the midst of crisis, one must act with expedience. For one will soon perish. <laughs> uh. <laughs> she didn't want to hear that. One such as this, of immortal nature, is designed to endure for all time. Yet one suffered severe harm in ancient times, and now relies on the Myanlong Chamber for survival. This is not the optimal solution. For a long time, one has had to use this chamber to replenish energy. Hoping to delay the inevitable doom. Yet fate cannot be defied. The Fraxidus have conspired against this one. Now, the injury only worsens. The Myanlong Chamber can no longer prolong one's life. Jinjo. The city of Jinjo will be no more. <laughs> you don't want to hear that too, either. Ever since one descended upon Mount Firmament, using the power of temporal mandate to repel tacit discords, time has been in disarray within this location. The fate of Jinjo was sealed from that moment on. Over the past millennia, one has defied the laws of nature and sustained Jinjo at the cost of one's own life force. Oh, yeah, not good. Otherwise, the temporal disruption would wreak havoc not only on Mount Firmament, but on the entire region of Jinjo. If this were to happen, all life will be engulfed in a chaotic storm of twisted time flow. Jinjo shall forever remain frozen in time. The past and the future melt into one, rendering life indistinguishable from death. The ceremonial rituals and endless battles persist, intertwining joy and sorrow into an eternal blur. All in 
inhabitants of Jinjo shall endure this perpetual fate until time itself ceases to exist. It is this one's own doing, and one must put an end to it. In the coming days, one will exert every ounce of strength to freeze the time in Jinjo at the cost of one's remaining life. In that moment, Jinjo will fall into stillness, but not perish. In the distant future, the people of Wanlong may discover a method to rescue Jinjo. Yeah. Is there truly nothing else we can do? So one freezes, the other's not, then the reverse happens. Huh. And then it's up to the other side to save them. Yeah. This is not the optimal solution, but it suffices as an option. Please, forgive me, but I cannot do as you say. A decade, a century, what if nobody comes up with a solution? By that time, the world will have turned its back on this forgotten city. And who would be willing to spend precious resources rescuing a small city in a far-off corner of the world? Jinjo's fate deserves better than an uncertain future. Whilst one may not live to witness the future, one can still envision endless possibilities yet to come. In my deduction, this method proves to be the most effective and stable. Magistrate Jinji, as you express doubts, pray tell how do you propose to solve this issue? The flow of time upon Mount Firmament is in disarray, and it can only be contained through one's utmost effort. If one does not freeze the time now, the situation in Jinjo shall surely worsen a hundredfold, or even a thousandfold, after one's passing. I'm with you. <laughs> you once predicted a destined battle between us. Is it true? Correct. I was lost at first, struggling to grasp the prophecy's meaning. Only when I learned of your actions alongside the court of Savante did it all become clear. By clashing two resonating powers, a second resonance awakening can be induced. Through this, I am able to push my resonance ability beyond its limits and invoke the temporal mandate to restore the flow of time. Though I will be forced to raise my blade against you. Ridiculous! <laughs> if you clash with my resonance power, even the smallest mistake will result in overclocking and leave you nothing but an empty husk. You are well aware of its excruciating effects. The pain you feel now is but a faint scratch in comparison to its true torment. Moreover, you will be trapped within the fissures of time itself. Your being will be relentlessly shredded and mended day after day, denied any respite for eternity. But I can restore the errors in the flow of time. 
Isn't that why you saved me all those years ago? I'm just doing what you've been doing all along. Going against fate to keep Jinjo safe. Oh. Jinshi, you are given one last opportunity. Let me freeze the time. And I can ensure your safety. So basically... Jin... Juyi saved Jinshi basically because they're basically exactly alike. Or she grew up to be exactly alike. Exactly alike. But eh, it works. <laughs> Before the right time arrives. Yeah, I can still help. But you are not compelled to remain idle. Should you intervene, you may augment Jinshi's odds of survival by a fraction. Command me to transfer my temporal mandate access to Jinshi at the right moment. The moment of her resonance ability's depletion. When she is teetering on the brink of overclocking and near death. Then we may still save her life. Miss that moment by even the slightest margin. And Jinshi's fate will be sealed. Let's see what I said. He one does that. I should have died a long time ago. But I was lucky enough to be saved by you. Allowing me the chance to see the glittering lights of Jinjo for myself. You rewinded time to save me. I am responsible. Jinjo is my home. If it's ever in danger, I will do everything in my power to protect what I hold dear. Even at the cost of my own life. Such a valiant speech. Do you know the weight of this decision? I understand your concerns. I will reach my second awakening with our destined confrontation. And restore the time flow. Are you willing to bet on me? <laughs> Restore the time flow. Pray, from where does this confidence arise? You are my resonator, but your strength is only a fraction of mine. There is little chance for you to retreat unscathed. But I can at least win some hope for our people. Even if it costs me my soul, my everything. I cannot die without trying. I may only bear your power for a fleeting moment. It's all I need to secure a better future for Jin Zhou. Defying all of your predictions. And I can keep you safe. If there is anyone who can face you in a fight, that person has to be your resonator. I will be your final winning move in this game. <laughs> Are you truly ready to challenge a being worshipped by your kind? Will you not regret it when you meet your bitter demise? I will not regret it, no matter what. Very well, Magistrate of Genjo. Come to the summit. Demonstrate your prowess. 
Show me how you shall be my triumphant ace. All right, we now are at the end game. Well, uh, of this. So, yeah, let's get to it. Save everybody in the in the process. Oh, uh, ah, up I go. Wait, where where are we going now? Oh, just leave. <laughs> uh. Lady Arbiter, one is curious about your choice this time. Wherever the tides may take us, you will bear witness to our fight. I want to fight too! Government must be guided by virtue. Chi, do you keep this in mind? Yes. Virtue must come first. Politics, commerce, it all must serve the people. From now on, you shall be known as Jinshi, bearing Jinjo's name as your own. What do you think of this world? Like... here. Darkness clings, but lights flicker in the gloom. A guiding light's not easy to win. That's why they stand out so brightly against the darkness. Leads to one Sonoro Sphere. Magistrate Jinshi, one shall await you there. Rover, this battle is related to the fate of Jinjo, and only you can open this Sonoro Sphere. The key to Jinjo's future. Lies in your hands. Seriously, putting that much pressure on me. If I open it, Jinshi is bound to face you in the ultimate battle. The ideal outcome would be for her to absorb your power at the critical moment and restore the time flow without any loss of life. But, there's a chance that she could push herself too far and end up dying from overclocking. Though, if I do nothing, you'll use your remaining power to freeze all of Jinjo in time. Correct. Now, please let us know your choice. I'm going to join the fight. Rover. There's like off putting. Why couldn't it just say Rover? Because they were doing that. The first part and all that. Every time they say Rover, it's Rover. They only do that off the story. I prefer it that way. Change it back, please. For the next update. I have been preparing for this moment. Leaving Jinjo behind fills me with regret. Knowing I may never again bask in its glorious sunshine. Or witness the purity of its snowflakes? 
But that's why I'm here. To ensure that others can still experience the wonders of nature. Our city has a rich history, with generations witnessing endless sunrises and sunsets at the border. Our people have sacrificed their blood and tears to protect Huang Lang's safety. They deserve a bright future. I want to protect Jinjo in my own way. As Jinxi. As a citizen of Jinjo. And as Jinjo's magistrate. Let's begin. Right, here we go. The showdown. Hmm. All right, the final battle. I preferred the how we went up to the Trinolian to this to get to the final battle. I preferred that way to this way. Even though I know different scenarios and different things and all that. Onwards. Change. Oh, it's just her. Ow. And plus level up. Huh. Level 100. Onwards. Onwards. Huh. I just got to keep remember. I keep dodging. <laughs> Basically, I've got a grapple hook to it. Thunder guide us. I will use yourself to fight yourself. <sighs> hey, come back here. Ow, wait, didn't... no. Stop it! Hmm. Ah! Wait. <laughs> I'm not frozen. I fight! <laughs> Stop cheating! Hmm. Freezing my movements just so you can try and kill me. Kill him! Beat him! Oh stars, heed my calling! <laughs> I will use yourself to beat yourself. <laughs> okay, I do like the fact when you're using the uh, uh, resonance skill, is it? That. Wait. Uh, Impressive feat, Magistrate Jinxi. However, 
You are still a long way from inheriting my power. Oh. Back down now, while you still can. I, d I didn't know I could actually move. I've made up my mind. I could dodge here. And I will not back down. He once said it's not easy to become a candle of light. But I still want to try. I want to see if I can ignite a spark of hope for Jinjo. Oh, wait, so it's not hurting me anymore? Hmm, so... What is it I'm doing? Oh, I'm fighting back. That's what I'm doing. Time's starting to slow. Transfer the temporal mandate to Jin Shi. I don't like those horns she gets. This one has heard your decision. You can do it! What do you think of the system? They deserve a fight for future. That was breaking it. Hooray! Everyone's back to normal. The transfer has been carried out as you instructed. Jinji, one shall honor one's promise and restore Jinjo's future to you and its people. Hooray! I won! Yay! Alright, now let's go back. <sighs> Wait, first things first, is there anything... Normally when you... Oh, come on, is there any chest that we can get for doing this domain? No. Not always that, the first time you do it, you get something. Well, at least we're, at least I've done it. Jinshi is safe. Jinjo is safe. Uh, can't remember what this place is called, but it's safe. And yeah, everything is good. Jin 
Jinshi has recovered. One will soon send her back to Jinjo for recuperation. Please do not worry. So you're saying I will keep her for a little bit, and then I'll re then I will return her. <laughs> With all matters resolved, as per the agreement, it is time for one to address you. Ooh, please. <laughs> One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Hmm. I am Jue the Sentinel, the guide of Jinjo's civilization. Everything about Jinjo has been stored in my mind. You are my arbiter and my former master. Wait, wait, really? <laughs> In bygone days, I stood by your side as you established Jinjo City. You tasked me with safeguarding its prosperity. So I was right, I am a time traveler, even though it's already been confirmed. This one begs your pardon, for it is not all-knowing. All my knowledge came from you. Wait, 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 so... I know everything you know, and you know everything I know. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Okay, I'm just gonna go down the list until we're all done. In the past, one was granted the key to that Sonoro Sphere by your hand. Ooh. You said you planned to participate in history, to make choices and witness the development of civilizations. One had previously requested for permission to transfer the temporal mandate to Jinshi as that is how one is designed to function. Hmm? Every ounce of my existence, from life to death, and even the passing on of power, is subject to your approval. <laughs> so basically, I could... So we didn't have to fight, I could have just said, yeah, transfer it right now. And it would have been fine. So we fought for nothing. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Oh yeah, I just don't get like They didn't have to fight, they only had to get my approval. Since Jin Chi has inherited my power, the temporal programs are now complete. Jin Zhou is no longer under threat. Jinshi has fully assumed the mantle of leadership. From this day forth, one shall only offer it when it is truly needed. So, you are not gonna die then? This situation has been analyzed before. But the number of variables made reaching a safe conclusion impossible. To accomplish a goal, Jinshi must possess both strength and confidence. Revealing the truth to her earlier would only add to her troubles and not aid in improving her abilities. Ah, so that's why you had to fight. Today was not the ideal moment for our destined battle to unfold. But the Fraxidus has remarkably escalated its arrival. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. 
the flow of time when Mount Firmament has been restored to its natural pace. But the citizens of Hongzhen must still contend with shortened lifespans should they attempt to depart. Fortunately, with Jin Shi's resonance ability, they can stay safe as long as they remain on the mountain. So basically, yeah, they're still stuck here. For lack of a better solution, this is the best we can do. Through countless ages, the imposing Mount Firmament stood firm against the storms. But as spring brings thunder and change, one feels a spark of transformation in the air. The people of Hongzhen have a bright future ahead. One that can be steered in the right direction within mere days with proper leadership. One is prepared to answer any inquiries you may have. Hmm. Okay, so I'm also wondering something. Because as like you said, Jue knows everything I know and vice versa. How did where was the predictions and all that coming coming from? Because I don't have that power. And apparently you do. How does that work? Eh, but still. Your tacit mark. There is something unusual. <laughs> mean Abby. <laughs> Abby, wake up! <laughs> Asking about you. <laughs> what? 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 What's wrong? Uh, big dragon wants a word. Rover, who's bullying you? <laughs> no one. Huh? Is it you, big thing? Huh? How dare you! I'm gonna teach you a le- Shut up! <sighs> hmm? Wait! Pause! I don't think it has any bad intentions. It smells like the unnatural smell I smelled in Jinjo before. Oh! So you must be that sentinel! <laughs> Hello there, big one. <laughs> Rover, why didn't you wake me up earlier? I got a feeling I missed out on a lot of fun. Why didn't you just wake up on your own? I'm not your alarm clock. It does feel similar to me, but there is some difference. What do you mean? This entity is unfamiliar to me. As it resides within your tacit mark, one can only assume you granted it access intentionally. Uh, what? <laughs> Lady Arbiter, have you heard of the Black Shores? Yeah, I've heard of them. The Black Shores is the starting point of your journey in this world. If you have doubts, this one suggests a visit to that island. So, I gotta go back there. Worry not. The weathering waves ebb and flow. They shall send you back to where you belong. Okay, they just said the game's name. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, Juyi.
One suggests heading back to Hongzhen to reunite with your companions, Lady Arbiter. With Mount Firmament no longer posing a threat, surely Hongzhen will undergo significant changes. Okay, so basically I'm heading down the mountain. Do I want to take the path or do I... Ah, wait. Grab this first. Ah, from the peak. Ah, wait. Hmm. I say I have no idea. So I could, you could miss this and just go straight down there. Good job I didn't. Wait. Ah! Hooray! <laughs> Some little boogie boarding. Well, sliding. <laughs> All right, can pick up speed. Come on, I can do it. I'm good. Gonna go through every single one of these rings. Whoa, 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 too fast. Haha, <laughs> I did it. Really, that's all that was? Oh, come on. I wanted to get something after that. Oh, yeah, it was optional. <laughs> So yeah, I could have just jumped down from there. But hey, I do the optional stuff. They're all, they're always fun. All right, I'm doing this before I go. Okay, so that that and here. <laughs> Tetris blocks. Remnants of the past. And now, jump. Hmm. Hmm. Anything else? A lot on top. Ah, there's a there's a bell. I'm gonna get that bell. Oh, and there's a chest. Sweet. Two things for the price of one. An unexpected discovery. And go. Haha. <laughs> oh, everyone's moving around now. Everyone's happy. Mount Firmament glowed with the sun's light, high above the clouds and snow. Then, suddenly, they vanished, revealing a distant blue sky. And amidst it all, stood a white-haired maiden, like a goddess descended from the heavens. <laughs> with a mere wave of her hand, she brought forth a new season, transforming the streets below. This maiden was none other than the dead infant, now reborn as the Magistrate of Jinjo. When thunder roars in spring's embrace, the sun shall shine upon this place. What's the point in rhyming? Hmm. For only through death and strife can one truly embrace new life. Hmm, I see. Doesn't matter. That's not important for our goal. Okay, why does the voice lag behind, but... 
It's, it's still there. We have the answers we wanted already. Well, sometimes it does. With the second resonance awakening, we will tap into powers that rival the Sentinels. Complete control of the artificial resonator awakening process is within reach. Uh, what? And lastly, about that rover. Yeah, what about me? This trip was worth it. We've collected many wonderful notes, haven't we? It's about time. Get moving. Can't let a certain someone wait too long behind bars. Ah, <laughs> uh, hey, I finished. Woo! Freedom. So yeah, that I am done. Finally, ha <laughs> ha. Good part. Act seven was good. Even though I don't know if I'm going to be splitting this between two parts. Technically, you would have found out by now, but... Mm, it, it depends on how long it's actually been going. As I say, I might, I might not. But... Yay! At least now... Jun, Junshi... It, is that really a name? Ugh. I know we just been said and all that, but... She's got all of Chewie's powers and <laughs> she's very technically OP. Well, technically she should, but we're not going to get that version of her. But eh, it would have been good if it is. Oh look, another, another souvenir shop. Eh, I'll go into that later. But <laughs> yeah. Good, good act. I can't wait for the next part. And whoever that woman was, I, I know it said her name. I just couldn't remember how it said. Basically, she's going to get Scar out of prison. <laughs> uh, and she's got notes about us. Which, uh, yeah, spying on us is not that good. But, eh, what are you going to do? So... Yeah, I think that's going to be it. So, if you, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. And yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye.